Hello, Sarah from the Upcoming. Pleasure to speak to you. Um, maybe you can kick off with an introduction to the nature of love. Tell us a bit about the story and what people can expect from the film. Uh, it's the story of a, a professor of philosophy of 40 years old. She's in a relationship for 10 years with a, her um, uh, husband, and she did uh, buy a country house at the day. They meet the entrepreneur for the work. Uh, she's go, she's going alone, and then she meets uh, Sylvain. So she's falling madly in a passion for him. <laughs> and what was the inspiration for the story, and why did you want to tell it on the big screen? Uh, I really want to make a, a love story for my second feature that I was writing. And um, yeah, there's not so much of love story in French Canadian uh, cinema. So I was thinking that it would be a good idea to explore this uh, this matter. So I really wanted to explore love and uh, social classes uh, also, like in the film. And tell us about your amazing cast, particularly this wonderful actress, you know, starring in it. And what was it like working with her? Oh my God, it's amazing. I mean, Magali is also my, my best friend. I didn't choose her because she was my best friend, because she's an amazing actress. But it was like a, such a pleasure because we turned 30 both. Uh, last year and I think it was like kind of a, our present together that to, to do and all the cast was it was amazing to work with them and you know a lot of the reaction to this film seems to have been phenomenal right from when it was in Cannes um, people really seeming to connect to sort of the quirkiness and, and the comedy and um, what does it mean to you to have that reaction to your film uh, it's always like pleasant because you, <laughs> when you do a film you never you never expect like going on with the film and I think that after pandemic I think people feels like I really want to make it a tender movie. I wanted to, to make a soft movie, like a, a love movie, a, a tender movie. And I think it's what people get to uh, when they get the film. And yeah, what do you think people can take away? I guess it is looking at different kinds of love and maybe we don't have to sort of abide by certain conventions or strictures or, you know, it can go beyond class. And people need to be more open minded, perhaps. Uh, yeah, well, the, 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 the study says that, that most of the people don't cross their own social classes with, uh, in a couple's situation. I mean, we can love anyone, but this idea of being in a couple with someone who's not in your uh, social class, it's quite complicated because couple is a, is, a, is a political statement, you know, it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a situation that's it's economic, it's political, but it's not quite as a big relationship with love. It's it's a new um, pa paradigm in in the couple thing that that love is add from this idea of couple. But yeah, I hope like people be able to cross their own social classes to meet other people for sure. And finally, what does it mean to you to have the film here at Marrakesh Film Festival? Uh, it's I mean it's important for me because since my my father is Tunisian too, and it's the first time I show my own work. In, uh, in Maghreb, so uh, I'm pretty thrilled, happy and honored to be here. Fantastic, I really enjoy your time here. Thanks so much. Thank Good to chat to you. Cheers.